Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play E7. Last time we started our way through the Well of Souls, and today we're gonna finish up the Well of Souls, but first, I wanna head on back to Iska Village, because, uh, between this episode and last, I actually went and gathered up all the materials that I would need in order to synthesize the ultimate weapons for everyone. I figured, you know, might as well. And it actually wasn't so bad to do. I'll talk about exactly what I did um, whenever I get back to the Well of Souls. So let's go ahead and uh, get everything that I need. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's see, where's it for you? Okay, awesome. Yeah, I got tons of soul stones. And uh, we can all thank just kind of leaving the uh, <laughs> the <laughs> the game on for quite some time for that. There's actually a harvesting point that you can grab those at, and uh, I'll show you where those are, or at least the one that I used. And uh, okay, there we go for a crooksy. Got that, and uh, the last and final one. Okay, perfect. So everybody has their best stuff. Not gonna worry about the armor. Well, I already bought all the uh, good armor. So let's head on back towards the uh, Well of Souls. Wanna head over to the middle. And uh, let's talk about exactly what I did in order to uh, get those weapons there. So uh, the easiest thing to do, let's see. If you go up over this way and then continue along uh, through here, we're going to get to this spot right here. These guys right there, these ones right here, they drop Titanospines, so you're going to want to grab those from them, and then right over here, you can harvest the Crystalline Twigs, so you're going to want to harvest those, and then we have another guy right there that also drops the Titanospines, so I spent a good amount of time, I would say about 20 minutes or so, running back and forth, fighting both of those guys, and then harvesting the Crystal Twigs that are right there, so that's how I got those items. And then, as far as the soul stones were concerned, I'll show you where I grabbed those, um, momentarily. Also, those guys that I fought, they can also drop soul stones. But I just went a little bit ahead of myself, so we'll get to where I got the soul stones in a minute. But what you want to do whenever you're going through this thing right here, this is the Concentrated Winds of Destruction. Equip that Moon Talisman that we got last time, and we can just go right on through here, totally, completely undamaged. So, that's pretty nice, uh, but unfortunately, there are MONSTERS around, so you have to be careful about that, but yeah, uh, just take them out any which way you would, and they're not too terrible. Oh, okay. The only bad thing about them is you can't really use the urn to grab all their loot, so that kind of sucks, but uh, yeah. So anyway, completely ignore those guys, now we need to equip our Grathios Talisman, head down here, yikes! Oh, we got a new, like, underwater Titano down here. Wow. Lots of, uh, different people over here. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and grab him. Yeah, normally, he would be strong against Slash-type attacks, and you'd have to use Cruxy or Dogie to really, uh, get in into him. But, because Adol's ultimate weapon ignores weapon type, you can pretty much use whatever you want on him. It's so good. It's so nice. Whoa! Yikes! Um, maybe I'll just have you attack over and over and over again, since I don't really have any SP. Okay, that worked out pretty nicely. Wow, you can get a lot of Titan of Spines around here as well, so this could be a good place if you want to, uh, harvest some of those Spines. But right over here, what do we have? Hey, we got the Clone Statue! That is essentially like a goat doll accessory. Basically, you equipped it, and if you die, the clone statue kind of shatters in your place if you catch my drift. So now up here, what you want to do is not equip the moon talisman to get through this um, windy area, but you actually want to equip the diamond boots. And let me show you why. As you're going through here, you're going to see these little uh, puddles right down there. And if you fall into those puddles, you'll fall into the uh, water area that we were just at. So you don't want to do that. And if you take the any other path besides the upper path, you will be continually uh, having to walk and um, dodge all those puddles. But if you just take the punishment, equip the um, diamond boots, and don't equip the moon talisman, you'll be fine. 
So that's the way that I want to do it. It's just the easiest way to get on through there. So now that I've done that, let's uh, get the show on the road. Okay, oh, we have like a Cerberus guy. Let's see, we'll try a Dragon Blaze. Nice! Great damage there. Okay, yeah. So keep on going. Uh, actually, in here, this place is rather complex, I must say. So I'm going to equip the... Yeah, let's take off that training ring. And I'm going to give you the um, Silver Telegnosis, just so I know where all the treasures are. I'm not too concerned about the harvesting materials, but I am concerned about the treasures. These things right here, you uh, can get some some uh, crystallized twigs from them as well. So make sure to, uh, you know, do that. Comes in handy for, uh, for uh, synthesizing, just in case you don't want to do what I did, but, you know, just want to show off everything that I did. And there's more harvesting points, but I have everything that I could possibly need, so I'm not going to worry about harvesting anymore. I'm pretty much done with that um, for the rest of the game, honestly. Yikes! Oh, being able to use these skills indiscriminately is so nice. Okay, this is where I harvested. The rare drop on this is a soul stone. So what I did was I had Adol just kind of stand right here and do absolutely nothing. I equipped a lucky medal on Aisha, and then you get a crux who would have whatever she wants, and then I just kind of left the game on for like an hour. And they, ever, I would say about every three to four minutes, it's going to respawn, and then you're going to harvest some soul stones. And they are a rare drop, but with that lucky metal, it really shouldn't be a problem, and you should be able to get plenty of them. So, that's the way that I did it. It was a pretty good strategy, and honestly, I just kind of went downstairs and made dinner and cleaned up the kitchen and, you know, ate dinner. And then I watched Jeopardy, came back upstairs, and I had plenty of stone soap. You know, it wasn't like I, like, wasted my time just sitting here not doing anything. Like, you know, I just kind of got some housework done, pretty much. So, <laughs> yeah. That's the life of a house husband, what can I say? Okay. So, whoa! Wow, he totally, like, just pushed me off the ledge. Ugh. Wait, is she, like, stuck? Like, seriously? She was not moving. She was completely stuck. Wow. Thank God we can, uh, Switch party members, that wouldn't have been good at all. Okay, so she's out of there. Uh, is there... Yeah, okay, yeah, we're done here, so let's keep on moving along. I wanted to make sure there wasn't another treasure. Okay. Yikes! Oh, bad attack, that's not good. Uh, well, no matter what Adol uses, it's going to be a good attack. So, yeah, go ahead and take these guys out. If you want to equip the diamond boots for this, you can. It's really not that necessary at all. From that one harvest point that I pointed out to you, on every single harvest point from this point forward will have soul stones. So here there's plenty of soul stones to harvest. There's actually three different soul stone harvesting points in this one area. So if you want to, you can just kind of run back and forth over and over and over again to each soul stone harvesting point and harvest to your heart's content. Get as many as you need. Oh. Well, yeah, that's what happens whenever you... <laughs> that's what happens whenever you, like, never use healing items. You just kind of leave them in the chest. So, that's fine by me. Whoa! Yeah. Screw you, Cerberus! Die, bitch! Die! Okay, so go on down here. And whoa! Do push me off the edge! Oh, I hate you! Oh, thank God. Oh, not that it really matters, but... <laughs> it's, uh, nice all the same. BAM! Wow, that dragon place comes in really handy. Okay, so going on down here, I think that we got all the... Oh, I was gonna say, I think that we got all the treasure, but it looks like there's one more down here, so we'll go ahead and grab that as well. We'll get an Alp Extract. Another healing item that I'll probably never use, but it's there. So let's just go on through here. And that's it for the Well of Souls. Yeah. So, uh, got a little warping point here if you want to warp out and synthesize equipment do whatever it is that you need to do now is the time you do have another kind of point of no return and i'll let you know whenever that is but for right now this would be a really good time to go and get done whatever it is that um that you need to get done as far as synthesizing is concerned. But right up ahead, I don't need to synthesize. I've already done everything. So we have a boss fight coming up. So I'm going to put the Crimson Jewel on Adol. 
Um, on Cruxy, I'm going to give her our new energy charm, which increases the rate that the extra gauge fills up. And for, um, hmm, I'm actually going to put Dogie in my party. So for him, let's see, uh, let's take Aisha out. And for Dogie, I want to go ahead and give him the Flash Ring 3 to increase stun rate. Okay, and with all that being set up and ready to roll, uh, let's see, let's head on inside. Skyus! We meet again for the first time for the last time! It actually is the last time, now that I think about it. Hey there, how you been? Well, of course we came. The origin of all life? Well, that makes sense. If the, if the Well of Souls sucks up everybody's soul, and then the Rite of Demise, like, ends up killing everybody, and then everybody's soul just kind of returns, this would be the origin of all life. Possible cause. I've played this JRPG before. All final bosses are impossible causes, but we always seem to win. Of this era. Huh, so it has happened before. Oh, uh, well, that's what everybody keeps on saying, but something tells me, you know, our like 0.0001% chance of winning will actually come true. Uh, yeah, more than likely. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? I'd actually kind of like to know. Um, I don't know, maybe a hundred or so beats me, but they haven't been Adolf Christian. We can do it? Yeah, doesn't matter at all. No matter how slim and minute that chance will be, believe me, We'll believe in it, and it will happen, it will come true, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, so does this happen every 200 years or so? I mean, I would imagine it does. Hmm. That's right, we have to fight you, and we have to fight Tia Luna. Hmm. No matter what, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna win! And even if we don't win... Well, I didn't really think that far. Well, I guess this will be the end of the adventures. We've had a good life. We'll be fine. Oh, open Tia's eyes. Yeah? Why are you laughing? I know, it's not all that funny. Oh. Oh, so you were kind of like her father figure? Huh. Oh, yeah, so no matter what, even if Tia do doesn't want to do this, she has to. This is her fate. Like, she just can't not do this. Um, no, we kind of don't understand it, actually. That's why we want to go talk to her. Whoa. Okay. Whoa! Oh, holy crap! They have, like, little wings there or something? Reminds me of something from Dragon Quest IX, actually. Such a good game. I love Dragon Quest IX. Actually, about five copies of it. Because it only had one save, that, like, bugged the level of crap out of me, and I didn't want to, like, save over my other saves, so I just bought, like five copies of it so I can play it as many times as I want to. I know it's kind of crazy, but there was actually a sale on it at Best Buy, and I want to say it was like the day before Christmas or something. It was sometime in December. There was a sale on it, and it was only five dollars. So I bought five of them. I went inside the store, and the guy in the store was like, oh, this is marked wrong. There's no way it's five dollars. And I'm like, are you kidding me? It's on your website. It's five dollars. But then they wouldn't let me buy it in the store, so I was like, screw this, I got it on my telephone right then and there in the store, and then I bought them and had them shipped to my house for five bucks. So I'm like, you're not going to sell to me in the store, but I can just buy it online. This all come from the same pot, people. And whatever. Whoa! Yikes, get away from me! Yeah, just pentagram the crap out of this guy multiple times. Let's switch over to Dogie. And... Whoa! Ultimate strike! Bam! Shit tons of damage. 
Okay, so he's gonna create like little copies of himself there and then do these massive sword swipes. So you wanna make sure that you jump around and avoid those uh, if at all possible. This guy can be really hard and can put a hurting on you really fast. And he's, speaking of fast, he's very fast. Whoa! Yikes, wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, so if you notice, his stun meter is actually going up too. Oh, we got him stunned. Sweet! Okay, we got him stunned, so wail on the guy. We'll use a pentagram on him, and then just keep on going. Um, he's one of the few stunnable bosses that we've had so far. It seems like all these dragons are like unstunnable, and then this guy comes in and we can actually stun him. So it makes Dogi much more useful, and those flash rings much more useful as well. So yeah, awesome. That wasn't so bad at all. And you said that we wouldn't defeat you. You said that you were invincible. Screw you. Like, that was easy. We didn't even die once. You'd have to use a healing item. Come on now. Yet you're still laughing. Oh, well, yeah, we've been trying to tell you this entire game just how strong we are, but you haven't really been believing us. Okay... Oh. Oh. yeah, that's true. Oh. So that's why she took care of Maya. She just wanted to protect her and make her happy, even though she knew that eventually she would have to kill her? Oh, that's nice of you. You know, you didn't have to kill him, you could have just kind of wounded him like you did to Dryzen and Sigrun. Although, why didn't you kill Raud and- well, you did kill Orbis, and thankfully, you know, but why didn't you kill Raud? I mean, come on now. Oh, yeah. So that's why you killed the king, just to kind of test his strength and see how strong the dragon warrior actually was. But you just said that we were- you just said that you were invincible and that we couldn't beat you, and now you're still saying that it's hopeless. You're still saying that there's no way we're gonna defeat Tia Luna, but we've defeated you, and you said there was no way that we were going to uh, defeat you, so... What the hell do you know? Kidding. Hmm. If you say so, he's still a cold-blooded murderer. I mean, come on now. Oh, yeah, Tia is waiting for us. No, we cannot. Oh, that's true, and there's been probably hundreds of them, I would imagine. I mean, it's the history of the entire world. Hell, maybe thousands. Who knows? But can we put a stop for to Tia Luna once and for all? Find out next time in the exciting finale of Let's Play E7. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.